Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be looking at the five worst planes that you can buy in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this list is going to consist of basically the five most pointless planes to buy in the game. Planes can make it onto this list by just being useless, like why would you buy that when you could just go and get it for free? Planes on this list also can be just extremely expensive for absolutely no good reason. And I think that pretty much covers it. There's just, you know, there's a lot of planes that you can buy in this game that really you just should never buy because A, you can go and get them for free or B, they are pointless. So let's get into it, starting off at number five. All right, guys, and at number five, we have the least useless plane on the list. We have the P996 Laser. Now, the reason this thing is on the list to begin with is just because simply you can go to the military base and you can just grab one of these things for free. It's really not that hard. You can steal it, you know, as soon as you're in it, call Lester and just fly away and then you can use it. And if it blows up, go back, get another one, right? If you want to buy this thing, however, it costs $6.5 million. Wow. Okay, so $6.5 million is a lot of money in Grand Theft Auto. That is a lot of money. That's like running the KO Perico heist four times as a solo, and you know, that's gonna take you at least four hours. And you still, by the end of it, might not even get six and a half million dollars. So you have to ask yourself, is the drive to the military base or the flight to the military base to steal one of these worth six and a half million dollars? Now, if you got a lot of money in the game and you don't mind spending the money because you love the laser or whatever, you know, don't be offended by me saying it's useless. I like the laser. I think it's a good plane. However, for six and a half million dollars, it's pretty hard to justify it. I did buy one. I regret it now. Uh, I could definitely use that six and a half million dollars for something else, but I do have it now. And it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a good plane, which is why it's at number five. It is still quite useful. Whereas a lot of the other planes on this list, not so much. Now the laser is very fast and it is very maneuverable. It is one of the more maneuverable fighter jets. I mean, there's definitely planes that are better, like for example, the like Starling, something like that. They are uh, they are pretty quick and uh, pretty agile. And the you know the laser is too, but it's it's just not quite there. Anyway, guys, so at number five we have the P996 laser. Definitely would say stay away from buying it unless you are absolutely balling in GTA and you have like a ton of money. So that's it for number five. Let's move right into number four. All right, guys. Next up at number four we have the Vellum five seater now this and the regular vellum are both at four simply because at least they can hold a few people and they don't really cost that much money but as you can tell we went from the least useless plane which is the p996 laser to the vellum so the planes ahead of this thing are going to be really bad anyways getting into the vellum we have a five seater right here this is the five seater version of it this costs between i think 700k and five million dollars something along those lines as you can see you know the in interior is uh, pretty pretty basic nothing uh, really that extravagant but it is a five seater which is kind of useful and it is you know just a little bit better than the regular vellum the regular vellum is only a four seater i believe so you know this thing does have a little bit of an advantage over it the Vellum is not the slowest plane ever, but it is, you know, pretty slow. It's definitely not uh, not too fast. With that being said, I'd rather fly this than some of the other planes on this list, that's for sure. This thing was actually featured in the Prison Break heist that came out all the way back in, what, 2015 or 2016? So this thing's been in the game for a while. It's definitely not the fastest. It is, you know, not, not a terrible looking plane, I don't think. I mean, I'm not a plane, uh, you know, aficionado or anything like that, but... I think it looks pretty decent, and for what it is, it's not a bad plane. Let's move right into number three. All right, guys, next up at number three, we have the Titan. Now, the reason the Titan is ahead of the Vellum as being more useless than the Vellum is because you can get this thing at Sandy Shores Airfield very reliably, and you can also get it guaranteed at the Los Santos Airport right over there in that hangar. As you can see, it spawns here literally every time you go here. In online, it's it's notorious. If you want a Titan, you just come to this hangar. There's absolutely no reason to actually buy one of those things, which is why it is ahead of the Vellum. Now, that's not to say it's a horrible plane. I honestly actually like the Titan. I think it's cool. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it, per se. It's a big plane, that is for sure. So, you know, it's not going to be the most maneuverable. It's not nearly as maneuverable as the Vellum, even. 
Now the Titan does have one redeeming factor, which is keeping it at number three, and that is that it can hold 10 players, which, you know, is pretty good, I think. 10 players is a decent amount of people to hold in one plane, I would say. There are planes that hold more players, uh, definitely. But the Titan is pretty, you know, OG and everything. And like, you know, e everyone knows the Titan. If you think of GTA and you think of planes, you probably think of the Titan. If not like the Hydra or the Laser. They're like, you know, the three most, you know, I'd say staple planes of this game. And the Titan for what it is, honestly, once you start getting it going, it's actually not that slow. It's not very maneuverable, like I said earlier. But I think it is deserving of the number three spot on this list because there are planes that I would say are worse for various reasons. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's hop into number two. All right, guys, and at number two, we have a tie between the Cuban 800 and the Mimetis. I couldn't decide which one of these planes was more useless. The only thing that the Cuban has over the Mimetis is that it has two engines, so if one goes, you can still fly the plane. That's literally like the only advantage I could think of. I think the Cuban might be a little bit faster, but I'm honestly not sure, so I'm not going to count that. These two are garbage. And despite these two being complete trash, there is a plane that I believe is worse. Now, getting into these planes, if you've ever done a cell mission of CEO Cargo, you will be familiar with the Cuban 800. It is one of the vehicles that you will be forced to sell your CEO crates in if you've done it enough times. Sometimes people get lucky and they don't get it. I was never that fortunate. I remember losing a lot of cargo with the Cuban 800 before and it, it brings back bad memories. Maybe that's why I hate it so much, but that's why that's at number two. And the Mimetis is at number two simply because it's completely awful in every single possible way. It's slow, it's dreary and boring, has absolutely no like appeal to it. It's ugly, not maneuverable, basically has nothing going for it whatsoever. It's very similar to the Cuban, as I'm sure you guys are probably uh, realizing right about now. They both kind of suck. I would, if I had to give an edge to one of them, I would honestly give the edge to the Cuban. I'd put it at two and a half and the Mimetis at two, but we're doing the top five. So they're both at number two for the most useless plane. With all that being said, I'm not going to fly these things because I simply do not want to put myself through flying these two horrible planes. I had to fly them over here once I found them. And that was enough flying for me, I think. Just trust me, they both suck. If you can avoid flying them, please do at all costs. Alright guys, let's get into number one, the most useless and worthless to buy plane in Grand Theft Auto. Alright guys, at number one, we have a three-way tie for the most useless plane in Grand Theft Auto Online. That being the Luxor, the Luxor Deluxe, and the Shamal. Honestly, out of these three, I would say the Shamal is actually the coolest and the best one to buy if you were absolutely going to buy one and you must have one i would say buy the shamal it's the cheapest and it's the most unique by far so the reason that the luxor is at number one is because you can get this thing at any airfield in grand theft auto online except for the military base but i don't count that as an airfield because it's a military base luxor costs about 1.6 million dollars and for that you could just come to the airport and get either this one this one that i literally just found here or this one over here so at Los Santos Airport, there's three of them that spawn. At Sandy Shores, there's also one that can spawn there. So $1.6 million to buy one is completely worthless almost because you'd have to come to the airport to get it to take off anyways. So if you're coming to the airport to get it to take off anyways, why not just grab one of the free ones that are sitting around here, right? Completely stupid. Now it does hold 10 passengers, which is why I gave the Titan a pass. And the Titan also spawns at the airport, but the Luxor spawns in such a high quantity at the airport that it's completely worthless to buy. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you would buy one. I unfortunately have made the mistake of buying a Luxor, and once you have, you cannot get rid of it. So that's very unfortunate. Now onto the unholy one, the Luxor Deluxe, or what was the Luxor Deluxe. I had this here, but the engine would not shut off and I was trying to record this, this is the second time I'm going through this whole recording because this thing's engine would not shut up and it was just deafening me. Anyways, that's a side note. This thing costs $10 million and for the $10 million, you really don't get anything special. It's a regular Luxor, but it is plated in gold. It can take one extra homing rocket to my understanding, but it only works like 50% of the time and it will still damage the engines to the point where the plane will be forced to land in about five minutes. So, is $10 million worth it? 
it's a cool flex piece, you know, if, if you've got the money for it, if you want to spend it on it, go for it, I guess. But it is a gross waste of $10 million, especially when you can get a plane with literally the same performance at the airport without a doubt. So the Luxor Deluxe is also part of this tie. It is by far the worst, though. It is by far the worst purchase out of these three. Second would be the Luxor, just because it's, it's at least only $1.6 million for your mistake. And, you know, you can you know, maybe get some use out of it. Now, the best purchase out of all of these is actually the Shamal, simply because it looks the coolest, it looks the most unique. Shamals do not spawn in Grand Theft Auto Online, they only spawn in single player. So, the Shamal only costs about $1.1 million, it's, you know, 500,000 cheaper than the regular Luxor, and it actually is unique, and they don't just spawn at the airport. However, it does have the exact same performance as the Luxor, to my knowledge, it's not any faster, it's not any slower. So it's still pretty much useless. You're basically paying $1.1 million for a skin on a Luxor. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. These are the three most useless planes in this game. They're all Luxors. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If not, dislike. If you agree with my list, comment down below. If you want to see a part two to this video with some of the newer planes in the game, I would be happy to do that. Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.